Hey guys, it's Alex and today we're going to talk about why I don't like ported throttle bodies. Why I despise ported throttle body. <clears throat> I've been talking so much because I've been pumping out the videos because you guys want content? Well, fuck it. I'll do it on my lunch break and it's not that hard to do. So let's imagine. Okay, let's use your imagination. Okay, imagination. Imagination. Let's imagine this is a stock throttle body. <clears throat> By the way, this is the untunable throttle body according to some. So let's say, for instance, this is what, let's say what, what Ford does to these throttle bodies, okay? Ford puts these bitches on a flow bench, okay? And they got some fancy schmancy software that then spits out data for effective throttle area. Basically, you know, this, what is the effective throttle area? What is, and then the inverse, the opposite of that, which is the open loop, feed forward, throttle angle, prediction, all this Fancy, fancy, schmancy shit, which basically means size of the throttle and airflow. How much airflow is passing through the guy because it goes on a flow bench, okay? They have some fancy tools. Put that bitch on. That's why it drives so freaking good because they have the proper data. Well, what happens? You get, you get the car, Mr. N.A. Warrior or whoever the fuck you are, and you're like, well, if bigger is better, why don't I just port the throttle body? Okay, so then you send it somewhere and have it ported. A uh, stock throttle body is round and you port it. And, you know, take it to a reputable porting service and then all of a sudden you get it back, put it in. And, yeah, it makes like three more horsepower, but it drives like shit. Well, why does it drive like shit? I'll tell you why. This is the absolute easiest way to tune a Coyote car. Wide open throttle. Wide open throttle, the car's not varying. It's not doing anything weird. It is a predictable throttle angle. All of it. All the throttle angle. Okay? So... When you do this to the throttle, ah, the wham, 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 that's where shit gets fucked up. Because now, not only are you manipulating the throttle with the different airflow coming in, different cam positions, different everything, when you do this to a car, wow, real quick, on certain tunes, the cams go, brrr, they go crazy, like a deck of cards, brrr, brrr, they go crazy because it's sampled from different tables, spark, throttle angle, all this shit, torque. But when you're like this, you're fucking watt. So a watt tuner, aka a guy that just tunes for racing, is going to have an easy time and say, yeah, port the fucker, port the throttle body, it'll make more power, sure. People like me that know you're going to complain about drivability, I'm going to say, don't fucking touch the throttle body. I know guys that make a thousand horsepower through turbo applications with the bone stock throttle body. Bone stock. Okay, now, will it make more power if you port it? Yeah, four, five, maybe eight. Is it worth the drivability concerns? Because now we don't know the effective throttle area. It's one thing to say port it, put it on a flow bench, spit out the data, and get me the data. I'll tune it all day. But I'm not going to sit there manipulating all these numbers to give you custom effective areas, custom throttle angle prediction, custom throttle body data for every person on the planet. Now, you're going to say out there, you know, in... LS land. Oh, that's not a real tuner. Okay, sure. I'm not an OEM tuner that has to do one thing and my, you know, I have a month or two to hammer out one thing. We do multiple combinations all over the world and we have to do them as quickly as possible to make money. That's, it's called business. So if you're going to port the throttle body, understand this. It'll be fine at wide open throttle. There will be no issues at wide open throttle. But any other time besides wide open throttle, you will potentially have issues. And that's why I do not like ported throttle bodies. Thanks for listening, guys. This is a real short video because it's only about one subject. Talk to you later.